Still no word as to when the Prime Minister will call the elections. Many who attended, watched or listened to yesterday's conference at the arena expected the date to be announced. That wasn't the case. Having said that, how ready is the opposition, the People's National Party, who only recently made public their final list of candidates? Joining us this morning in our one-on-one -on -one is General Secretary of the People's National Party, Peter Bunting, to speak on these issues. In addition to his constituency race, Central Manchester with Daniel Walker. Sir, good morning. Thanks for joining us. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Um, Massive turnout. I suppose nobody can deny that yesterday, possibly um, the biggest, certainly one of, that we have seen um, JLP conferences um, in history. In terms of the support, what are your thoughts on the overwhelming turnout of the um, supporters who would have attended yesterday's conference? Well, I think they had good support. Um, that is always possible if you have enough money to spend. And <coughs> the JLP are you clearly, saying that to say? The JLP clearly has a lot of money to spend. Uh, however, I think the feedback that I'm getting from those who I talk to generally, not just um, PNP supporters, is that they were generally disappointed with the Prime Minister's presentation. I think he had a, a great opportunity to address some of the issues facing the country. Uh, the pressing issues, the IMF agreement, the whole economic situation, um, the JDIP scandal that broke last week, I think he could have addressed those issues. And generally, the feeling was, the speech was uninspiring. Um, it was sort of flat. The one uh, reporter, I think, mentioned that Bruce Golding fell asleep three times. So, it, you know, I think it, it, it was disappointing from that perspective. The crowd was a good crowd, um, but I don't think that in and of itself says anything conclusive. You would, however, though, because all the polls um, would reflect saying that the um, image of the party, the popularity of the government, have improved since the ascension of um, homeless um, to the post of Prime Minister and um, GLP leader. You would readily admit, though, that um, the image, you know, the, the, the despite um, scandals that we have been hearing um, recently, you know, um, Institute of Sport, JDP and all of that, that the image or the popularity um, have actually um, improved uh, to some extent. Definitely. I think Bruce Golding was clearly unelectable. I mean, there, he was not in the, he was not competitive at all. And I think the JLP has become somewhat competitive now. Um, they got the, a bounce from, from the leadership change. But it was interesting that in yesterday's Gleaner Bill Johnson polls, um, it showed the PNP still ahead by three percentage points and that the impact of the bounce um, was dissipating. So I think that may have been one of the reasons why we didn't hear an election um, date announced yesterday. But should we really make much of that? Of because it is feet. within the margin of error still, and I suppose it is still um, a neck and neck. And they kind of, um, a progress that they have made, because only recently you were about 24 points ahead. Um, you know, so it's basically neck and neck now. So should they really read much into um, what the poll is actually saying now? Well, or if anything, it is reflecting I, good on the part of the JLP. I think the momentum, the momentum that they had yeah. has clearly slowed dramatically. And I think with each passing day, um, that is going to dissipate. And, and that's why there is, you know, such <laughs> great urgency on behalf of the JLP suddenly. To, ha to have elections. But, you know, we are ready for <coughs> elections. Yeah. If we were ready if it was called yesterday, if it's called this week, next week, or the week after. Um, we're doing our work. We're not being distracted. Obviously, they set the timetable. But if we can't predict, then we must prepare, and that's what we're doing. Okay. Um, how much has homeless actually changed the game in your estimation? Because um, he clearly has, and we are seeing um, Porsche seems a miller outshone in um, popularity for the first time in a little while. So um, how much has it changed the game for the PNP? Because you actually have to go back to the drawing board because I'm sure this was not um, the marketing thrust, uh, you know, before the announcement of uh, Bruce Golding that uh, he's going to be stepping down. Well, Dr. Phillips, our campaign director, described it as a curiosity bounce. Um, Andrew had not been seen in the context of, of our Prime Minister before. Around the time of his swearing in, a lot of stories in the media, a lot of curiosity, wife being interviewed, etc. 
um, but that is going to dissipate as in in fact in, in a sense the, the the myth of Andrew versus the reality of Andrew <laughs> um, we our, our most powerful uh, marketing force will be the reality of Andrew and the reality is he has presided over an education system for the last four and a half years that he will not even expose his own children to that system as we read yesterday in an interview with his wife where his own children have been removed from the, the uh, public, public school, school system, system and they're now homeschooled. Uh, the, the speech yesterday, But isn't example, that part for the course, though? Because many of you ministers, too, when you're seeking or if your head hurts you, 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 you don't access the um, public um, health sector. You all jet off to Miami. So isn't well, that par no, for, the, for the course, be, be, be if he's careful. taking that? Yes. Be careful how you say we all. Um, I, I've never jetted off to my, but thank God I've never had an emergency. But the, the, the thing is, though, I think it is important, symbolically, um, that we're not creating a system where you, you know, as Mr. Siaga used to say, the haves and the have-nots. We say it's a free education system, a free healthcare system, but the quality then falls so low that most anyone who has a choice or can afford it has to look outside of that system. And I think that's, that, that's what people are, the harsh reality is now coming back home. We have a social sector that's deteriorated dramatically. We have an economy that is on the verge of collapse. And no matter what they want to say, until <coughs> they disclose the true state with the, with the IMF uh, program, which have failed four successive tests, or put it this way, um, they can't even face the test. They're not even allowed to take the test because they're in such a state of disarray. Until we get the facts put on the table, we have no other choice but to just speculate that it is very, very bad. Yeah. All right, we have some other issues that we need to look at. We need to look at um, the arrest down in central Manchester. We need to look at the readiness of your party for the um, elections, which apparently will be taking place this year as well. And we need to find out if you're going to pursue legal action just the same against Audley Shaw. All right, we're going to be finding out the answers to those um, questions and more when we return. Uh, Peter General Secretary of the People's National Party, Peter Bunting, our one-on-one -on -one this morning. All right, um, it was mentioned by... Audley Show and other, other JLP um, officials, you know, you, the, 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 the fact that you have actually asked for the, you know, Trafigura hearing our case to be, you know, set aside for now, not wanting any of um, anybody to, 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 to come and give any statement in that. The, 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 the reason you have asked for that is, is, is being questioned and the JLP is actually saying that you have something to hide when you want to make known whatever it is is happening in the JDP affair and the in-sport affair um, and all of that. Why is it then that you would be asking now for the traffic Gura, um hearing to be set aside? Look, I, I think I have to be very careful. It's a matter before the courts. I'm not one of the attorneys. So you will understand that, um, you know, I don't want to get too involved in, in, in what is going on in that case. But my understanding of it, um, we've put the facts on the table. The, it was a campaign financing um, issue. It was a donation. Um, it was badly handled. And, but having no substitute. So you're saying that they're being the the errors? You're saying yes, that they made clearly, some massive you know, there were mistakes, errors in they, judgment yes. in terms of how it was handled. And persons paid the price for it. Um, senior, uh, a senior minister, general secretary of the party, resigned and took responsibility for that and was out of the system for years after that. The, the point, however, I think that, that KD and Patrick Atkins are making as attorneys is that you shouldn't manipulate our justice system for political gain. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I think there is a clear element of that going on now. And I think their role as attorneys is to ensure that their clients' constitutional rights are not offended by the way the government is trying to play this. All right, we're, we're, we're not going to spend much time on that in the, um, the as, as you say, in the absence of um, the, the, so the facts. Let's, 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 let's zone in on um, your constituency down there in Manchester between yourself and Danville Walk. And some experts are actually saying you now that they, this might be one of the dirty races and the, the, the signs are already there, you know, with the, with the tearing down of the billboard, the war of words and all of that. Um, are you, though, 
um, General Secretary, concerned that Walker may now be uh, a bigger threat or a bigger problem than you had initially anticipated? He will be giving you more than a run for your money. Not at all. In fact, I am perhaps less concerned now than, than I was, um, than I would have been initially. Um, as I see how, how his campaign is playing out on the ground, I, you know, I'm confident that we have done our work. The, you know, it's very difficult in a short period of time to come into a constituency, to know who is who, to, to build an organization that you're compatible with. We've been doing that for the last four and a half years. And I, <coughs> over the weekend, um, reviewed the results of, of our canvas, um, reviewed the results of the enumeration that we did in the last phase, and I'm very comfortable with where we stand now. Mm. Um, there was also claims, and the Walker was actually asking for you to uh, make some apology, and that, that for you also to um, do some repair to that sign. Um, what say you? I think that's a ridiculous assertion. There is no evidence, first of all, that uh, who, who did it. We don't know. Um, based on his previous positions, there are many people who don't like Mr. Walker separate from, from politics. Um, you know, as I, I said, I had an experience. I went into the arcade in, in Mandeville, and I was surprised by the hostility of some of the vendors towards Mr. Walker. And I don't think it had anything to do with politics. It said, boy, I'm seize our little barrel when we try to bring it in or the customs, uh, you know, charge us so much money. And it was, so, so there are many people who may have a reason to do that. There's no evidence that it had anything to do with the PNP. And I think, you know, it's really just ridiculous for him to assert that somehow I have some responsibility in it. You know, I think, it's, it's unfortunate. I came out, I condemned it. Um, but it's not the first time a billboard or some political sign has been, been defaced. And unfortunately, it probably won't be the last. We, we will, you know, as leaders, I think we have a responsibility to discourage any such activity. If it occurs, we condemn it and make it clear that we don't um, approve. Uh, but at the same time, we can't be making, you know, ridiculous accusations. Um, about our opponents when we have no evidence to support it. Yes. All right. Um, you announced your list of candidates um, recently, um, and, 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 and one of the contentious con constituencies, too, is, is that of Northeast St. Elizabeth. Um, Basil, wait, you have now announced uh, Raymond Price, which is a, a surprise probably to some people. You know, we are now seeing an effort by the party to put to the fore young candidates. We are seeing that, you know, be center to with uh, Damian Crawford. And there was even um, talk, too, that there might not be um, a good working relationship with yourself and Damian Crawford. Uh, what is the relationship like within the party? Is the party totally unified and the personal relationship with yourself and um, Damian? Absolutely. And if you... Um, well, I, I don't know if you were there or you saw the coverage, but when Damien was introduced in Harborview, when he had his presentation, I was on the platform. And, you know, whatever, you know, petty differences um, we may have had in the past amongst myself and others in the PNP or anybody else, I think we're now all united that those, we put those things behind us. We have a bigger purpose. We have a mission which is to really rescue the country from the incompetence, the corruption, the mismanagement that, that you know, is really impacting people's lives. I mean, when I go out in my constituency, the, 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 the suffering that people are being exposed to, it, you know, we, we can't let, let, let petty personal issues interfere with that. We have a bigger purpose. All right, I, I want to give you 30 seconds, and I want you to, to respond to these for me. Oddly sure, you have uh, proceeded with um, legal action against him, huh? Absolutely. Um, I retained Mike Hilton as legal counsel, and he has filed suit um, in the Supreme Court for, uh, for libel. Um, for He has filed for damages and aggravated damages. Mm -hmm. um, is Bunting at some point during the leadership of the People's National Party? You know, uh, Omar Davis always 
Cohen says to me, and, I, and everyone else, and I, and I think it's very wise counsel, when you're running in champs, focus on winning champs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't focus on the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> and if the PNP totally I'm ready, if the PNP totally ready. Well, now. we declared on the weekend um, through the campaign director that we have settled all 63 uh, candidates now. Um, that announcement of the 63 will be made this week after we've informed all the constituency executives, etc. You know, there were three or four outstanding, yes. which we just settled, and we're now doing the consultations with the constituency executives and letting them know, and we're going to make a public announcement this week. All right, there are so many other issues that we didn't touch on, um, but uh, we want to thank you so very much again, sir, You're for welcome. your um, frankness this morning. And um, let's hope uh, for the best. All right, thank you thank so you much, all. the General Secretary of the People's National Party, um, Peter Banting.